In this video, we're going to take a look at one-step equations, which require us to do some simplifying first. What we will find helpful is we will always simplify... Whoops. Let's spell it right. Simplify, there we go, each side before we do any solving. So let's take a look at a couple examples, which require us to simplify first and solve second. Whenever we look at an equation, we will always look at balancing through the equal sign. However, you may notice on the left side of this equation, there are some like terms that we can simplify. 5x minus 4x is just 1x, and then we still have plus 3, equals 7. We can now solve this equation by getting rid of the 3 positives with 3 negatives on both sides. This leaves the x on the left and 4 on the right. x is equal to 4. As usual, we will want to check this answer to be sure it's correct by replacing the x, replacing the variable on both sides with the number that we found it to be. So we have 5x, or 5 times 4, plus 3, minus 4x, or 4 times 4, equals 7. Order of operations has us multiply from left to right, so we have 20 plus 3, minus 4 times 4. We want to know, does that really equal 7? Still multiplying from left to right, we have 20 plus 3, minus 16. Does that really equal 7? Adding from left to right, we get 23 minus 16. Does that really equal 7? Yes, it does. It checks. We have found the answer of 4, the only answer that will make our equation a true equation. When x is equal to 4, then 5x plus 3 minus 4x really does equal 7. Let's try another example, where we're asked to find the value for x that makes the equation true, where we have to do some simplifying first. As usual, we always start by balancing on the equal sign. In this problem, we find simplifying on both sides. We can do 15 minus 7, which is 8, is equal to 8x minus 6x. Those are like terms, and so we can combine them to 2x. Now, we see on the right side, the 2 is multiplied by the x. We get rid of that multiplication by dividing both sides by 2. The 2's divide out on the right, leaving just x is equal to 8 divided by 2 is 4. Let's verify that that's the correct answer by replacing each of our x's with the 4. The original problem said 15 minus 7 equals 8x, or 8 times 4, minus 6x, or 6 times 4. The left side of the equation, 15 minus 7, is still 8. On the right side, multiplying left to right, 8 times 4 is 32, minus 6 times 4. We want to know, is this equal to 8? Still multiplying left to right, 6 times 4 is 24, and when we subtract, do we get 8? 32 minus 24 is 8. It checks. That tells us the answer we found, x equals 4, is the correct answer. It is the value for x that we can plug in to the original equation that will make it a true equation, and that's what we're looking for. What makes these true equations? What is the one value for x we can use to make it true? To solve, we will simplify first, and then we will use either the addition, subtraction, or division principles.